Good morning, guys. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. I am not feeling good this morning at all. I feel like I slept so bad. I kept waking up because my head was hurting. Like I had the worst headache. It's my TMJ. I have like TMJ and sometimes it just flares up really bad. I was flaring up so bad last night. So I got up and I took some medicine, which thankfully is starting to sit it, like hit a little bit, but I feel exhausted, like absolutely exhausted. You know, just like trying to adjust to getting everybody ready for back to school. You know, we're still in the transition of everything, um, which is good, but I'm a little bit pooped. <laughs> I can just feel my body shutting down. So I'm actually gonna go try to see if I can get like another hour of sleep before the rest of the kids wake up. I was gonna, you know, since I'm already awake and stuff, finish the vlog for you guys today before they got up, but my body is just telling me otherwise. So I'm gonna do that and then um, I'll catch you guys after I wake up. Harold's dad spent the night and so that kind of gave me a little bit of motivation to clean up our guest room. So I'll throw that in here real quick. Our guest room had gotten completely out of control. We were staying in here the first like two months after having Atticus. And honestly, I just never took the time to then put away all this stuff. So anyways, I started to put this random stuff away. Like what is this green screen thing? My husband bought it, but like, why was it in the guest room? I don't know. Along with this corner of junk that I also have to clean out. I just had so many random things in here, like this pile of clothes that I thought I would wear postpartum. Like, hello, it's been five months. So let's put those away, Rachel. Um, and the boys also like to play in here. So I was picking up some of their blocks cause they think they were like building something. I don't know. Then moving this diaper pail out of here because we can use it somewhere else so much better. And then this thing I had in the corner, I mean, again, like full of all this baby stuff, not useful at all being in the guest room along with all my postpartum medicine and ointments and just baby stuff even had my own earrings in there so i really just wanted to clean it up so it was a nice place for guests to have not just full of all of my stuff spider-man picture that truett carried down from the room i think it just became this big like catch-all uh for all of her stuff and it was it was driving me nuts so kind of moving this stuff out of the way but to be honest i only had so much time before atticus woke up so um i still have to put away a lot of it it kind of just moved around in the house <laughs> by the way i have some little guests sitting with me during this voiceover so if you hear sounds it's them but i had these like curtain rods under the bed that true kept playing with so i was like we are gonna clear this out all these bottles all of um addy's clothes like newborn clothes and three month clothes still in there so clearing out those drawers it always feels so good to declutter and then it makes me want to keep decluttering and just get the whole house done but i have to be realistic i know you know it just takes time when i've got four kids and just a busy life so like i said all the stuff kind of cluttering there on the table but we've made some progress uh -huh. I thought about moving this desk over here, which then I did move over there. I thought maybe there was more room for a chair. I don't know, it was good enough for now. Um, so that made me happy. Okie dokie. We are up. We are able to get a little short little nap in there pretty soon after I laid down. Hey, Choo Choo. Pretty soon after I laid down, Truett started crying. So I got him, brought him into bed. He kind of laid down with me. As soon as I almost fell asleep, then Wyatt woke up. <laughs> then we just like laid there for a few minutes and then got up and then this guy woke up. So, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'll get you one. Hey, buddy. You know what I was thinking, which obviously can't happen for a while, but someday, whenever mommy's done breastfeeding, it'd be so nice to just go sleep at a hotel one day even without Harold, because he wakes me up too. I feel like I used to be such a deep sleeper and now I'm such a light sleeper because I'm a mom and you know, I just like wake up to all these things or sounds and stuff. But to be able to just like go to a hotel, know the kids are safe and good, you know, with dad and just sleep <laughs> and have no agenda of waking up until my body is like ready to wake up, which it would probably still wake up really early because it's programmed to do that now. 
but that would just be nice. Maybe someday. But I love waking up to these little guys. <gasps> I love you so much. I love you. Dadu. Dadu? What'd you say? Daddy. Daddy? You say you love mama? We gave him a little haircut. Um, although we did it at home, so. <laughs> daddy cut me. Yeah, hey. Yeah, daddy cut your hair. We're trying to keep it long, but I think it still needs to be trimmed. Mommy so cut me. We cut your hair. Daddy cut me. Daddy cut your hair. Yeah. So we might take him in to get it, like, you know, cleaned up a little bit. Do do, daddy. Do do. He's so funny. Do do, daddy. He's like the funniest person do do, daddy. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would just kind of quickly fill you in since I did I did make a little post on my Instagram. Um, you know, obviously you guys know about my dad. Okay, hold on, buddy. Okay, cereal break. Hold on. You're all done? You're all done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yummy, yummy. Wyatt got a nice haircut too. A little trimmed up on the sides. So curly on top, he looks handsome. Did you think I forgot about you? I didn't. I do have dog hair all over this though. That's yucky, that's yucky. Okay, so I thought I would I just quickly kind of fill you in the rest of the stuff that's been going on. Since I feel like I'm in a much better place now that I've given myself the time to process through it. Um, so, um, the same day that I found out that my dad had cancer earlier, um, so I found out that evening, but earlier in the day, first of all, Harold was out of town. Um, and earlier in the day, Wyatt got bit by a dog in the face. Um, and so it was very traumatic for me. Uh, he obviously, you know, was hurt, but he still, I mean, he's just blown me away Mom. with how brave he has been Mom. through both instances. Mommy. Hey, buddy. Because... You know, it's the week prior to that when he also hurt the back of his head. I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, so he's really just shown me, wow, like how, how brave he's been through these um, instances. But for me to just be again alone <laughs> during that was pretty just emotionally, like it took a, a big toll on me. Um, and then even though I got him, you know, I took him to the children's hospital, a plastic surgeon, stitching him up which i'm thankful for um because that was a big concern of mine too i was like oh my gosh like it's on his face you know uh you know he doesn't have a poopy diaper um you know i just was thinking about him in the future and i don't need to change him just yet okay he doesn't have a poopy diaper he's just laying there you can you can talk to him um I just started thinking, you know, all these things. And of course, then was he going to be scared of dogs? How is it going to affect him? Um, which he, he has not acted scared. So that has been a, a positive thing. And now it's been some time and his wound is healing. You know, it's still still a process. Um, and I have like band-aids over it and... I'll continue to put band-aids over it, um, even as it like heals up better and doesn't doesn't necessarily need the band-aid anymore, but to protect it from the sun because it to help it from scarring as bad. Because the sun is what will make a scar really, really bad. I'm sorry. I mean I'm not sorry for the noise. He's being really cute playing with Atticus, but Anyways, he's going to be wearing a band-aid on his face for a long time because I do want to just do my absolute best to help protect it for him so that, you know, it can, the scar can go away um, as much as possible. Hey. Hey. Dada mommy. Okay. Um, Dada mommy. Dada mommy. Dada mommy. I love you. Love you. Love you. Um, so anyways, I change his band-aids every day. <laughs> Love you. Love you, buddy. Um, and he also had an antibiotic because of like dog bite or <laughs> that's really loud. <laughs> it's really loud in my ear. 
He had an antibiotic because like a dog wound is considered a dirty wound. And one of the biggest things um, that we were concerned about was it getting infected, but it seems like it has not gotten infected. So that is a huge answered prayer. Um, and it really does seem like it is healing well. So that is good. Um, even after like he got stitched up and he was fine, um, just for days after, I was still having these just intrusive thoughts of him getting hurt, my other kids getting hurt, but like really specifically him because he'd gotten hurt twice now. The boys had a boys day because um, I had a baby shower, my mom came up here, um, and so I took Atticus and we had, anyways, we had like a girls day because we had the baby shower. So the boys went on a, a boys trip to the um, waterfall and in the car I just kept thinking like, oh my gosh, what if something happens to him? Like. And I would call Harold and he like didn't pick up and I was like, what if they're at the hospital, you know, something awful's happened. Like he doesn't want to call me cause he knows I'm going to be like an absolute mess. Like I just like couldn't help myself from thinking all of these things. Oh, okay, I'll open that. So of course then I would randomly be thinking these thoughts in my mind and then it would like work me up so much and then I'd get anxiety and I'd just like start crying. And I was, Anyways, it was just been a lot because uh, it was far more than just the incident, you know, of like it happening. It was like it happened. It was scary, but I got him to the right place. I, you know, made sure that the right people saw him. He was taken care of. I was there with him. He was fine. We got it handled. All of that was good, but it was like the aftermath of both instances where it just like lingered so much longer than I thought it would. Like if it were... If it were me getting hurt, like breaking my arm, you know, or something like that, like I broke my arm or I got bit by a dog, you know, that would be it. Like once I was fixed, I was fine. But because I think he's my child, oh, it has just stirred up all this stuff in me that, oh, it's like the hardest thing ever. I think about being a parent is, it's not any of these moments where you're like, oh man, I don't get sleep. I... I'm tired, I gotta do this or that or whatever, all that stuff. It's like, no, like those are such a joy and a blessing to be able to do. It's when like your entire heart is in this other body and something happens to them and it's so out of your control. Like I, I, I couldn't do anything about it other than what I did, taking him to the hospital and like consoling him, all of that stuff. But really like it was beyond my control. And so something I've just been learning in all this is like I really have to surrender my kids to the lord like of knowing hey, they're my my kids but they're hey, god's mommy. kids first and hey, mommy. my buddy sit there. you can sit here can you sit in my lap yeah okay you can sit here um and i just have to trust i just have to trust god with that because <laughs> if i try to want to be able to control all of it like so many more things are going to happen in life that are out of my control and uh, it's just gonna fill me with so many anxieties and worries and so I've, I've just got to get better at kind of giving that up to the Lord um, so that's what I've been working on but it was definitely like one of the hardest days because like I said that happened with Wyatt I got home from the hospital and actually right about right as um, we were coming home from the hospitals when Harold um, his flight got in so he was coming home and then as soon as I got home is when I found out about my dad and so then it was just I was already so shaken up then I find this news about my dad and it was just oh it was so hard overall things are you know more clear headed I guess but Mommy, <sighs> just hard man you just love him so much okay let's get you some water all right well i'm gonna edit this video get it up for you guys so i can hang out with the boys the rest of the day so love god love people make a difference and be thankful love you guys